Yes, good, uh, good afternoon everybody. So it's I think the fourth time the, that we organize this uh, workshop and it's the second time we organize it online. Um, so I will give a small introduction on the Master of Epidemiology uh, to give some elements and then I will give the floor to Neil Hans, professor in Hasselt and Antwerp uh, um, and who is the promoter of the Master Statistics Scholarship Program in Hasselt. First, to set the, set the stage, of course, uh, amongst you, half, at least half of you are ma or ma students in Master of Epidemiology or alumni, or maybe interested in the future to study epidemiology. And I give here to just uh, break the ice, the definition of epidemiology. Yeah? So it's uh, epidemiology is a study, is a science, and it studies the occurrence and distribution of health related states in event in populations and also the determinants and the main aim is to do something with this so epidemiology today is very pop the terminology of epidemiology you hear it all around during the last 18 months and we uh, were in fact visionary uh, six uh, nine years ago almost uh, by studying this uh, starting this master in Antwerp as there is, was no training uh, for an epidemiologist at that moment in Flanders. And we estimated at that moment there were about 300 positions filled in Flanders, which uh, required the skills and competences of an epidemiologist, but which were mostly filled by people who had uh, not a specific diploma in this uh, field. Um, so we started this master and we train uh, to prepare students to do research in clinical epidemiology, infectious disease epidemiology, environmental genetic chronic disease epidemiology, and to uh, hopefully that afterwards they get uh, or go for an academic career or go in advisory functions in NGOs, governmental organizations, health policy, public health policy, private sector, or, uh, or for teaching research methods uh, as a master, you can do that. Now, who would we thinking of the of course bachelors of medicine biomedical sciences veterinary medicine pharmacology physiotherapy was a logic uh, uh, in stream uh, indirectly there are some others here what's in yellow here has to pass the educational commission what's in green can go straight so the direct green and indirect is through the ethical commission and you have also a bridging program and um, and also and that's where we say we have to get together today international students now for English stu international students has to pass also the education commission but have to also prove uh, that uh, it's all on the website the English language proficiency and so you all find this on the website here you see the link so if you're more interested on the different elements you can find it you can find also on that website the learning outcomes what we aim with this master program uh, what we do and this uh, maybe for even for the alumni or those who are now in the in the first and second year of the master this will be the program from next year on uh, so there are some slight differences um, some is a little bit of re reorganization but it's the so we start with more the theory, epidem the, the, the methods, uh, classic and modern methods of epidemiology, then statistics, also qualitative research, data management. And uh, so in the first year, it's more knowledge, but little by little, it's there are in all courses also hands on exercises to learn uh, the different competences that you need. And then little by little, we evolve toward the different fields that are mentioned on the former slide, like genetic epidemiology. Now, the big difference for those who are studying now at the moment, the master is will be that the three tracks will be offered to all students from the future onwards. So that's a, a big change and that there is a new uh, co uh, course, which is mentioned here, applied arms, uh, which is apply, applied research methods, which will replace the internships. Um, so this set and this are all this stays the same these are all the skills and competences we would like to tick off at the end of your a part of the aims that you saw at the end of the master of technology now what is then unique? It's a new UK Flanders, as I said. It has an academic uh, career. It's professor. Uh, it's 
aids to professionalize scientific research. It's a mix of theory and practice. And we have a qualitative research component, which is strong, which is normally a lot of mass of epidemiology is not foreseen. Now we can learn from each other through blended learning, teamwork, activating uh, forms, blended learning forms. And also there are international uh, students. Uh, and therefore, I will come to the next slides because we have uh, it's in Antwerp, of course, that's one of the assets, but we are on the outside of Antwerp on the campus in the where uh, the campus where we are not today, but we are online, but which is quite green and in nature and with uh, an healthy environment. Now, next, on top of this uh, master, we at a certain moment from the Global Health Institute, that's one of the research groups in Antwerp, we decided to apply for a scholarship program for uh, colleagues from low and middle income countries. And that started, I think now, it started in 2000, help me, 15, 16, I think, 2016. And the reason was, of course, um, that we saw that also there was at that moment we did a little scanning for example in sub-saharan africa we found only two official masters uh, programs that offered a master in epidemiology uh, that was in tanzania and in ethiopia there were several masters of public health but not really a lot of masters that really focus so there's an enormous need in low and middle income countries on well-trained epidemiologists and that's why we set up and so the scholarship program this was part of course of a larger portfolio uh, of uh, courses so we have then the the population genetics course we have the ebq which is a short course mainly for phd students we have the infectious disease course uh, interna intensive infectious disease called i3dc and we have also since a couple of years with all flemish universities together contributing to an inter-university program of, of global health Last of, but not least, uh, our goal, uh, we think that we can play a main role if we want to make a change in low and middle income countries. We think that we have to work on uh, people at post uh, postdoctoral level uh, to uh, the, to strengthen the the the, the advanced uh, learning programs and advanced gra graduates and so we have put a lot of emphasis on phd projects and phd trainings and there you find also all this um, on the website so this is so we are compared to what we doing our group in antwerp is relatively small so we are the top here you see the top of our iceberg in antwerp and here you see, of course, as an education group, we have several working in the three fields. We already talked about the teaching. Now, for research, I recommend to go on the website. You can click or on a topic or on a country to see what is ongoing, which PhD student, which project is there, what collaboration we have there. So please welcome there. And in fact, if we would start going through all the research we're doing, we can put a lot of adjectives to epidemiology, serial epidemiology, clinical epidemiology, etc. You'll all see it here, they name it, uh, and the list gets longer and longer step by step. So I think that was it for welcome to the show so for today. So you will hear uh, the aim of today is, of course, that uh, you all people interested in studying epidemiology or statistics, and I give the floor to Neil in a couple of seconds, uh, that it's to show that uh, what are the, the job opportunities or the career opportunities with such a diploma. And so you, we will have some alumni of the Master Epidemiology and Statistics who uh, work in different fields. One is working in academic setting, one in NGO, one in a governmental organization, Ministry of Health, and who will show them uh, how, how their, what their job is like and how their project went after they had their diploma. And I give now the floor to Neil uh, to continue. Okay, thank you, Jean-Pierre. If you un 